Welcome into another edition of Untold Valor, Veterans Recovery in Action. Thank you so much for tuning into the podcast as we talk with veterans and healthcare workers and folks in the industry to help veterans find focus, find uh, places where they can turn to resources to help with their stories of courage, recovery, perseverance, and strength. We're going to have a great conversation today with Miss Mary Lamar, who is working with Visiting Angels. She's been in the healthcare industry for the last 30 years and spent a lot of time helping folks through all walks of life, but we're going to specifically talk this week about visiting angels and what they do to help veterans and their families, so we're looking forward to having that conversation with her. Reverend Ben here once again with me as well to have this great conversation with this uh, fantastic guest and all the good things that they are doing. So welcome in, Reverend Ben. First, how are you, my friend? Doing fantastic. Glad to be on today. Always glad to have you here and uh, looking forward to talking with Miss Mary. Miss Mary, how are you? I am great. Good to have you. Thank you so much for being here. So I always kind of kick things off very, very simply with uh, tell us a little bit about you and kind of how you got to where you're at and doing the things that you're doing. Great. Thank you. Um, I've been in the healthcare industry for 30 years. Uh, the first 20 of those years was was in more of a corporate setting, a, a Fortune 100 company. And the last 10, I have worked for Visiting Angels. Uh, my role is Client Relations Director. And as part of that, I have direct contact with clients and or people who are seeking care. Mm. So it is always a interesting conversation when that when that person reaches out and says I need help. Yeah. And we are thrilled that we're there to help them. Well, you know, and I noticed as you and I were chatting a little bit before we got started that uh, your son was in the service, right? You said he was in the Air Force. Correct. Yeah. And so how long did he serve? He served eight years. OK. Yeah. Same as my daughter. And and so it's, you know, do you kind of find a, a pull towards helping veterans as well? I know you help all you know people in all walks of life, but was there kind of an extra little piece there to want to help veterans in, in the situations that they find themselves in? Absolutely. And one of the reasons is I feel that the veteran community is really an underserved community. Mm. When it comes to the services that we provide and get people in touch with, they, they just sometimes become very, very isolated. And so it's something I'm happy to be working with. Yeah, absolutely. I know, Ben, that's, uh, that's right up your alley as well. That's what's gotten you and in, in doing the things that you do as well. And, and actually, you were the one who brought uh, Mary onto the show this week. Absolutely. Um, it, it's very essential that we don't forget these veterans and that they get the proper care that they need to improve the quality quality of life that they, that they we have left. So I think it's very important that this resource be known to veterans. Yeah, for sure. Well, Visiting Angels, is this is a is this a national organization, Mary? I know obviously you're serving the greater Philadelphia area, but this is a national organization as well. It's actually international. International, okay. And uh, it is a franchise organization. So each franchise, some of them are large, some small, are, are privately owned. Gotcha. And, um, but we do are all under the Visiting Angel umbrella. And it kind of a focus on uh, different things, right? Your focus is on senior community, uh, specific to home care services and veteran services as well? Absolutely. And uh, some of the other things that I wanted to bring out here is Visiting Angels were invested in our community. Community. We have a Visiting Angels Foundation, mm -hmm. and in that foundation, we provide grants for individuals or organizations such as those organizations that are providing meals, transportation, and that sort of thing. So mm. we, do, we do support those services within the community. The other thing that I think is very important for the, for the veteran community is we have a relationship with something called Twilight Wish Foundation. Twilight Wish Foundation is an organization that grants hundreds of wishes every year. Mm, that's um, awesome. and most of them are oh something simple like I've always want like wanted to go to a, a Phillies game. Right. They will facilitate that. Some of them are larger. You know, I the last meeting I went to, there was a, a lady who went, they took her to Italy. Oh, wow. To see where her husband landed during World War II. That's amazing. Uh, 
they, it is amazing, and it's really quite heartrending to to hear these stories about the wishes that have been granted. And I think that's something that's worthwhile to know because some of these veterans have wishes. Maybe they want to. I, I don't. I'm going out on a limb, but maybe go to the D Day beaches. The only caveat is they have to physically be able to do it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned something there. You're talking about, you know, with uh, the families, right, uh, where her husband mm-hmm. had landed when they they wanted to go to Italy for that. And so that's one of the focuses you wanted to talk about today on the podcast was not just also helping the veterans, but also their families. When I'm talking to families on the phone, many, many times it's the spouse who's caring for that veteran. They feel very guilty, but they get to the point where they're burned out and they feel trapped. Hmm. Visiting angels can come in and provide services so that that caregiver can go to the grocery store and not worry about what's going on at home or go get their hair cut or maybe take that vacation that they've been wanting to take. But they couldn't because they couldn't leave their loved one alone. Yeah, And so we feel that that improves the quality of life because the caregiver is not burned out. Yeah, I mean, it's a task in and of itself, right? It's a very daunting thing to want to or to have to care for another person, uh, you know, all the time. And it can get not only is it like physically taxing, it can be mentally draining as well. So having those other resources to come in and help with veterans uh, and their families is a great point. Uh, you guys, what are some of the things that it looks like when veterans want to reach out or will they want to, you know, kind of see about getting something? some help. And we've got a hotline number, by the way, for folks. We'll put this in the show notes, but I'll give it out right now as well. If you'd like to reach out to Visiting Angels, call 484-770-8479. Again, 484-770-8479. But what does that look like, Mary, when they when veterans or their family reach out? When they reach out, they're going to call. And all we need to have them say is, I'm a veteran and I'm looking to talk to somebody in regard to services. And they will be patched through to the most appropriate person. I got you. So they go through an assessment or what does that kind of look like? What happens is that call, let's say they they patch it through to me. I will talk to the individual and find out um, what they're looking for. Do they need help with transportation? Mm, Do they need just maybe the veteran lives alone in an apartment, but he needs a little light housekeeping. He needs someone to do the laundry. He needs someone to do some meal prep. Reinforce those exercises. So we'll talk about that sort of thing and find out what exactly it is that they're looking for. How much care, how often, and what type of care. At that point, Mark, our wellness team member will go out and do an assessment. They'll sit down with the person that's going to be receiving the care and whoever else is involved. And they'll come up with what we call a care plan and a schedule. And the care can start within 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours. So, um, and we do work seven days a week, 24 hours a day. That's amazing. You know, Ben, obviously this is something that I could see a lot of veterans needing some help with, right? Especially depending on, you know, what war you might, you know, maybe served in, right? A lot of veterans that are, as they're aging, you know, could use some help, especially if they are alone or if their spouse is just tasked and kind of, you know, run down as well. And, you know, not just the elderly veterans. We have veterans who are maybe just able, who are younger. Great point. Who also need this care as well. So that's why I believe that um, Visiting Angels is a necessity for some veterans who are really in need of some help. That's what we want people to know that are listening, that these services are available to you. Other thing, we train our caregivers. They are trained on caring for someone with dementia. And as Ben was saying, the population is aging. A lot of the veterans do have dementia and or Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. And it takes a special person to care for someone with that disease process going on. And uh, so I think that's important. The other thing, the other hesitation, and I'll just tell you this up front, Mark, the, the hesitation that someone might have is, I don't want a stranger coming into my home. Mm, okay. They need to rest assured that we do a vetting process with our caregivers. We check references. We do background checks. 
So we do state background checks as well as a, I'll call it a federal background check, so that we know that this is a trustworthy person. And then we also um, do monthly, we do ongoing education with our caregivers. So it it puts everyone at ease yeah. when they know that we have done our, our due diligence. No, that's a great point. You, 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 and to use the pun, right, you're vetting things out before they come to see the veterans. <laughs> so, yes, to, you know, kind of, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> to make sure. It's, right. very, it's very, very important. And I think, I think it's all told our vision is we make living life enjoyable to the greatest extent possible. I think that says it all about yeah. our organization. No, that's a great line, and it definitely makes a lot of sense. You know, looking at the services, you're talking home care services or companion care, uh, Alzheimer's care, as you mentioned, dementia care, mm-hmm. um, you know, some personal care, even just that respite care, which I think, you know, certainly could go towards a lot of the family members who, again, just maybe need a break, right? They're just, they've just taxed out, uh, and they just need a little bit of help, you know, maintaining uh, the situation. So there's a lot of great things in here. Uh, what other points are kind of, the, you're kind of looking to talk about today, Mary, when it comes to... you know, the veterans focus? The veteran focus, we realize that this community, the veteran community is such an underserved community within our our communities. Mm -hmm. We like working with the veterans. I I just want to say we always feel they're so appreciative of anything we do. And um, a lot of them have disabilities. Uh, we we have cared for uh, individuals with double amputee um, or just one limb amputated, and that takes a special skill set to to be able to make sure that that person's safe. Yeah, that's what I'd like to get across, if you will, is that we we want to make sure that the veteran is safe in his own home and that he is allowed to live his life with dignity. Mm. And our caregivers will provide the care kindly and and provide that veteran dignity. That's a great point. And Ben, do you find that, you know, we've talked many times on the podcast that, you know, veterans of different walks of life have trouble sometimes, you know, asking for help. There's that pride thing or that macho thing or that, you know, uh, we were trained to be able to handle whatever kind of situation. Do you find as, as you're starting to age as a veteran that that becomes easier or tougher to ask for help? In my case, I take all the help I can get. <laughs> However, there are some veterans out there who are, you know, they still they still have the military barons. And, and, and of course, the military doesn't train us to grasp on the pain. Right. They say no pain, no gain. So, you know, we're rough riders and we, we rough it out. But I believe now that these programs that are available to these veterans out here, I think the main problem with the veterans is not, more than not being willing to ask for help, is being aware that the program even exists. Mm, great point. Great point. And Mary, is that something that you kind of see as well as just getting this information out there, getting more people uh, to realize that there are resources like Visiting Angels? Absolutely. We are right now, we have a campaign going on that we're visiting the VFW lodges um, throughout the community. We recently participated in a fair, a a resource fair here in the area. So we we are doing our best to get the word out because I do agree with Ben. A lot of people don't know that the services are there. It's not always the veteran that's asking. It is a family member that might be asking for that care. Yeah. Yeah, great point. Well, well, Visiting Angels has been around since uh, 1998, uh, it looks like. so. Yep. So they are a great resource for you to tap into. So let me remind you again, if you need some help, if you'd like to check them out, go to visitingangels.com. That's visitingangels.com and check them out online. You can see uh, what kind of services are available in your area. Just use your zip code there. Obviously, Mary is serving folks in the greater Philadelphia area. And if you'd like to reach out to her, again, we put that number back up here for you 
Uh, all you got to do is give her a call at 484-770-8479. That's the hotline there, 484-770-8479 to speak with the folks at Visiting Angels uh, like Miss Mary here. Mary, any final thoughts from you before we go? You know, we often say uh, when we're up at the program, if, if there's a one message that you'd like to get out there to the listening audience, whether it be, in this case, veterans or their family member, what might that be? It would be ask for ask for help before a crisis happens. If you know your loved one is, is a fall risk, come to us before they have that crisis because they never quite get back to where they were to begin with. So I'd like to just leave the message that be proactive, ask for help. We'd like to get in there before that fall happens and help them so that it doesn't happen. Yeah, that's a great point. Actually, right there on the main website, folks, there is a safe and steady fall prevention program. You can download a free resource guide for seniors about fall protection as well. So that could certainly go a long way, especially, Ben, for, you know, veterans who may have a disability or, you know, at this point, you know, taking a tumble is not going to help whatever ailment they've got going on. Absolutely. I mean, you know, who wants to take a fall, especially the older you Get yep. the worst of the fall. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And but your Mary, bones always... are more fragile. The other thing that we pay particular attention to this time of the year is hydration. Mm, great you point. You can't drink enough water. One thing I wanted to ask you was your program is available to veterans who need help. What about someone who wants to be a helper? How do they get involved? They would call us and ask to speak with our human resources. The same number, right? Same number. Okay, thank you. All right, fantastic, folks. Well, thank you so much for checking out this portion of the program as we were talking with Mary Lamar, who works with Visiting Angels. She has been helping families uh, for the last 10 years at Visiting Angels. She is a uh, client relations director. So, again, if you need some help, reach out to her. You can find the the hotline again at 484-770-8479. That's 484-770-8479. Or stop by visitingangels.com. That's Visiting Angels. Angels.com. We'll put links and the information in the show note descriptions for this episode of the may, podcast. Yes, Mayor? May I add one thing? Yes, ma'am. Is if you are not in the Philadelphia area, that web, uh, visitingangels.com, will have, you can put in a zip code and find the local office closest to you. Yes, ma'am. Right there at the top of the page, just enter your zip code and it'll help you find uh, the place nearest you, as Mary just said. So thank you so much for being here, Mary. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. Reverend Ben, thanks for being here as always, my friend. Thank you. Thank you as well, Mark. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. We'll catch you next time here on Untold Valor. Again, Veterans Recovery in Action. If you've got some questions, need some help, please check the resources and the links that we have in the show note description from each and every episode. And if you'd like to be on the podcast or you have a family member who uh, would like to share their story, please reach out to the team at voiceandvisioninc.org. Again, all the links are in the show notes. And we'll catch you next time here on Untold Valor, Veterans Recovery in Action.